on the touch of stone one more time the ancient stone of Triscum my old stone I've been for a massive walk see you again Right, so here we have got our beautiful drove, Triscum drove to Crocum. It's uh, it looks longer than what it is, but it is quite long actually. But it's pleasant. Look. I'm going to get over that side in a minute. Yeah, I discovered all this on my own. I've never walked here with anyone, apart from the spirit of Jude, who follows me, and Brandy, the little dog who never came here, but she follows me everywhere anyway. She's always with me, Bran. Bran's always with me. I've got her ashes and a little elephant. And, uh, yeah, not too many people out. I'm hoping to slow up a bit soon. I have been marching rather a lot today, actually. Um, so, basically, I'm not dawdling. I've almost become one of those clickers. Walking at this pace. There's a bike coming. Let's take a picture of these trees in it. I wish I remember this bit. There's the quarry there, look. It's amazing, really, how you pass, isn't it? I still, I didn't see a lot of her over 30 years. I didn't really see a lot of her. We lost contact a lot. And, and it wasn't just down to me, I'm sorry, but people often say, oh, that's just Sheila. They never make an effort. They never used to invite me to stuff. 
so because I never saw her a lot, sometimes I don't feel like she, she's, I still feel like she's alive. But the only way I can contact her now is out here. So, hmm. But our special place, Holford, because that was our childhood place. And so that is the special place, Holford. All right, somebody coming. I'm going to turn off the camera now. Okay, folks, over and out. Right, we're near the end. We're near Crocombe Gate now. <sighs> Ice cream van will be right up there, by the way. I ain't going over there. That's um, the car park, Crocombe Park car park all around here now. A lot of people gather and have picnics and, you know, like I say, they have an ice cream van. It probably even does hot dogs. Um, but this is just gorgeous, isn't it, here? We're now entering Sheila country in a minute. Where I've been today is all, whole, is all the Quantocks. And I've been exploring unknown areas. But of course for me, once we cr go through this gate up here, we're in what I know, my area really, um, areas of beauty and childhood and family and friends and, and peace and love and happiness and stuff, you know. Like I said, it would have been nice to have had a friend in a way. Um, well, the thing is, um, I moved around such a lot since my mother died. So all the childhood friends, I had in touch with them for a very short time when we were 14, 15 year olds, 16 year olds. Then, then once I left, I, I lost touch really after a while. And this has happened every time I've gone anywhere. Um, and I have moved around a lot in, in my life. But some things stay the same like out here. There's a continuity, a stability even. And um, I can just feel that peace on me here. I can't really explain it. It's just so beautiful. It's um, total peace I find here. So anyway, we're, look at that lovely tree. I'm leaving now, but I'll be back. I don't know when. I've done a really big walk today. It, it, it is a big walk. I mean, it, some people do even more than what I've done, you know, I mean, you see how, some, how fast some people walk, for example. I've been doing a bit of uh, fast walking. Just to get in the time zone, so that um, I don't get, I'm not too late, if you know what I mean. I didn't want to be really too late. Um, but uh, all I know is I, I feel Jude again now we're here. It's like, yeah, come on, Sheila, we're in the home territory now. Even though that's all you, all ours as well, back there, and we love it all, we're in our place now. We're coming to our side of the Quantox. Yeah. I know, I can feel the peace. I, feel, I can feel them calling me. That's why I used to like going back to the van at Holford. It was like, you know, that welcome. It was a welcome feeling. The two old stumps, look. Been there for a long time, them two stumps. This gets wider and wider, more and more people come see. People were exploring when COVID came. And um, I keep thinking I've got to walk the, over there now, you know, and go. I just, I just keep thinking I've got to go back to Holford, down through the coombe and that. Beautiful views though, isn't it? Beautiful old tree. Look how fast the cars go though. I've got to walk down that road now with that going on. 
by that side of Holford then, east side. I just feel like I want to go that way. I thought you were going to check the time. No, I, can't, I haven't got time to do what I just um, picked up. Go back over here a minute, Sheena, and check the time. Just put your camera down. Let it take some views over there while you're getting organised. I might get my coat out actually. It does feel a bit nippy. Terrible how fast that car was going then. Terrible. Well, now I'm going to get that three o'clock. Just right. We might make the four o'clock, but I don't want to go based on that. Right? I don't want to make this walk a march, but I've got to watch out because I'm going to video going down here. It's quite dangerous now. 